This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by nitrosme.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we will create this kind of trippy looking typography animation inside of After Effects and that too without using any plugins. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects. But before that, if you're new here, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below if you enjoyed this tutorial. Let's aim for 1000 likes on this video. If that happens, I will be posting two After Effects tutorials every single week. So let's see what's gonna happen. Anyways, let's jump straight into After Effects now and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080. Call this render as our main render comp, 30 FPS. And let's make this 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Now let's create one more new composition, which is going to be our text placeholder. Call this text. And for the size, I'm going to unlink this. Set the width to 1200 and height to 220 you can change this according to with whatever text that you want to type so i'm gonna hit okay select the text tool and let's type in our text so i'm gonna type in let's get trippy so this sentence fits perfectly with our comp in case you want to type a longer sentence you can hit you can simply hit ctrl k and increase the width just like so all right pretty good now let's go ahead and animate this so i'm going to make some room right over here click on the small arrow go into animate and let's add a position pull this below like so and then jump into the range selector let's animate the offset so i can go around one second set the offset all the way up to 100 create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 go into the advanced properties Let's change the shape from square to ramp up and change the um, based on characters to based on words. So we get something like this. And I can also increase the ease high to around 30% and ease low to all the way up to 100. So we get a very nice movement for our text, which is looking pretty nice. I'll go to two seconds, create or copy this keyframe. So it control C control V go to three seconds and then copy this keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v so we have an in and out animation so i want this to keep on looping so i can use this very simple expression called um loop out ping pong so i can hold alt and click on this stopwatch let's type in our expression so i'm gonna type in loop capital o loop out open and close parentheses and type in ping pong and then comma all right so now we have a looping animation pretty nice now let's go back into our uh, main comp let's create a new composition actually called this pattern and i'm going to set this to 4k so 3840 by 2160 fine drag and drop in our text composition here and then I can go into effects and preset and use a very cool effect called motion tile. Double click to apply that. Let's increase the output width like so. Somewhere around 1000 should be fine. And let's increase the output height as well to 1000. And then I can animate the motion tile like so. So we can get a really interesting look here. So I'll go at the very start create a keyframe on the motion tile go all the way up to 10 seconds and let's um, move this actually like so so we have this really nice movement pretty cool now let's go back into our main render comp drag and drop in our pattern composition so here we have this now let's select this composition go into effects and preset and search for CC cylinder, which is a very cool effect and a very useful effect when you are creating this kind of abstract 
typography animations so let's jump into the position and let's change the position z to somewhere around 980 we can tweak this later mainly we need to jump into rotation and let's rotate it like so so somewhere around there should be fine and also i'm going to rotate this by 90 degrees and set the render from full to inside now let's create a new camera and i'm going to go with the 15 millimeter preset but i think i will change the focal length to around 8 that should be fine and boom there you go there we get a really cool and interesting animation but one thing it's not right that the um, text is mirrored or flipped so in order to fix this i can jump into the text uh, actually the pattern composition hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and set this to minus 100 so now if i go back and now you can see our text is much more readable so let's get trippy and obviously you can jump into the camera you can hit p and play around with the position so maybe i'll place it somewhere on there and we get a really interesting looking animation now there is some shadows and stuff going on so in order to fix this i can simply go into fix and preset and add a fill on this so let's go here and add a fill because i want all the text to be eventually um, single color Gonna keep it white so you can see before and after all right so that is looking good you can play around with the rotation because you know you can get a desired look and i can play around with this as well so let's go ahead and animate the rotation a little bit on the z-axis so create a keyframe go right here and let's rotate it a little bit like this so now we have something like this looking pretty cool but i want to add some wiggle on the rotation x here so i'm going to hold alt and click on the rotation x type in wiggle open and close parentheses let's go with 2 comma 12 and now if i preview this you can see we get a really nice wiggle we get a really cool looking rotation and everything is you know looking pretty trippy looks pretty good now before i proceed further with this tutorial i just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor nitrosme so nitrosme.com is having a black friday sale going on on their website so almost they have 50% off sale on their products like the Instagram library which consists of 650 plus stories presets then they have graphics library that has over 2000 plus animations like the typographies, titles, callouts, backgrounds etc. Then they have the transitions pack for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion which has over 700 plus all-in-one transitions. Then they have Instagram library for Premiere Pro which has over 400 Instagram story animations with sound effects. They also have 1000 plus elements and presets for Premiere Pro. And finally, everything works together in harmony with their animation studio extension which is absolutely free. So make sure to check out nitrosme.com which is the first link in the description below. And now let's add some RGB look to this so it's very easy to do. Let's select both of these composition, hit Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose it. We can call it anything that you want. I'm going to call this animation. All right. Let's hit Ctrl. Let's go into effects and preset and search for an effect called shift channels. Double click to apply that. Change the take from green to full off and take from blue to full off. Duplicate this, hit Ctrl D. Select the second one, set the red to full off and turn on the green. And then hit Ctrl D again, select this one, set the green to full off and set this one to um, blue. We can select all these compositions and change the blending mode to screen and then just um, displace them by one frame like so. So now 
we have this really cool and trippy looking animation which i think looks um pretty awesome now let's add some depth to this scene so i can create a new adjustment layer called this blur add a camera lens blur on this and then let's increase this to around 15 and i can simply create a mask over this holding control like that invert the mask and bring up the feather properties to around maybe something like 500 so we get a really nice kind of a depth of field look and it looks pretty damn cool so this is how you can create this cool trippy looking typography animation inside of after effects and that too without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did hit that like button and do let me know in the comment section below and if you're watching my video for the very first time please do consider subscribing to the channel and you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned all the links in the description below and you guys can also check out my complete playlist on logo animations title animations motion graphics and a lot more i have mentioned everything in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative Peace out.